Capricorn. Welcome guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, let's see how we're going to start the beginning of the week. We'll see what spirit, what the universe has for us. I feel like we already got quite a few cards that do not want to stay in the deck. So I have movement choices and decisions. So we might be looking at sort of going through a change in our life or maybe an opportunity coming up for change. I also have the throat chakra, which can represent communication. And this might be you communicating with other people or even communicating your thoughts, your feelings, um, your emotions to yourself as well. I also have conflict and defeat and spiritual strength. Interesting. That spiritual strength uh, might represent a need to tap into that side of yourself to be able to find guidance and maybe making a decision here. I also have the solar plexus chakra. To me, the solar plexus chakra, it represents your self-esteem. I feel like it's speaking to a self-confidence and trusting yourself and moving forward and making the right decisions in your life. I also have the two of swords. So this two of swords does speak to choice, having to make a choice, having trouble making that choice, having trouble finding clarity as well. I have the Empress card. This Empress card uh, speaks of being able to draw upon all different sides of yourself. So your analytical side, your emotional side, that passion, that drive, all those other queens sort of put together. And I feel like that's what she's speaking to and being able to pull on all those qualities to be able to help you make a choice. I also have the Page of Cups, which represents good news on the way. And Cups is all about emotions. And I do have the Nine of Cups too. Uh, Nine of Cups represents abundance. So I see good things coming. I feel like this choice is definitely going to tie into that. I feel like it's a choice that's going to give you back some self-esteem and some self-empowerment as well. I also have the Tower card, which represents a sudden and unexpected ending. I feel like this Tower card is speaking to the catalyst uh, for whatever uh, this choice is. I feel like it's going to it's gonna almost force you to have to make a choice in your life and choose a path. I do have the Page of Wands, which also represents a good news on the way. And the Queen of Cups. So again, Cups is all about emotions, guys. I feel like she's speaking to um, some sort of a happiness or fulfillment coming your way. I feel like this Tower card, like I said, is the catalyst for an opening uh, for this beautiful, wonderful thing to come your way, it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be healing, it's going to be empowerment, it's going to be self-esteem, and it's going to be happiness as well. I also have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, to me, uh, represents victory in truth and honesty, so being true to yourself. And I feel like it's also tying into that spiritual strength and being able to trust your intuition to guide you. I have the Four of Wands, which represents setting down a solid foundation for a happy future. And I have the Eight of Cups, which represents a bright new journey forward. I feel like it's speaking to this new path. I feel like this new path is going to be building a new future for yourself. The Hermit card represents introspection. So taking time to reflect. Uh, I feel like it ties into that spiritual strength, taking time to sort of um, do some soul searching and tap into that spiritual side of yourself to help make a choice here. The Wheel of Fortune represents your fortunes changing for the better. So I definitely see uh, this tower being... Something a little bit negative, but definitely leading to something positive and something very big and positive in your life. I have the Ace of Swords, which represents triumph. And the Six of Pentacles, which represents abundance to me. And I feel like that's the direction you're going to be heading in. I feel like you're going to have to tap into all those different sides of yourself. Uh, rely on, on that spiritual side of yourself to be able to guide you in making a choice here. But I feel like you're going to be able to choose the right path. I feel like it, inside, in your gut, you're going to know what to do. And I think it's going to take you on a beautiful new journey to success. Alrighty, guys. That is what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please uh, feel free to comment i do love hearing from you guys and remember if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and i'll throw your name in the pot remember we draw a name every friday guys and then we start fresh that day too for the next week Alrighty, take care